I've got all this titanium lying around, and it's all the wrong color. Is there anyone over there who can help me solve my little problem? You should grow oxides on it, just like we were growing oxides on silicon a few weeks ago and talking about the different colors when oxides grow. Monty is doing it electrically, growing oxides electrically. That's right. Go figure. Monty, how does one do that? Uh, it was actually really, really easy. Uh, anyone <clears throat> could do this with just uh, a, a few 9-volt batteries, um, some uh, phosphoric acid. You can see here I have this uh, tray of really nasty phosphoric acid, also known as uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of um, um, uh, a stencil so that you're only applying um, uh, the, the patterns where you want it on your titanium and uh, a little bit of electric current for those batteries. So I'll show you real quick what the setup is. Um, here we just have a titanium uh, uh, rod, in this case a pry bar, um, and uh, I'm going to put a positive electrode on the titanium itself, and then I'll take a little layer of um, uh, paper that I've soaked in a uh, phosphoric acid, wrap it around there, and I have this little template. And this uh, template is uh, some aluminum foil, um, with uh, some uh, contact paper, some vinyl, we'll stick you back just stuff to it and stick that right on there. And so now you have a uh, sexual electrical current will be applied through that uh, opening in the, the contact paper. And right now I'm using uh, a lab power supply here, um, but 9 volt batteries will work as well. And I just take the uh, negative side, if I can find it. There we go. Okay. And touch it to the, uh, the back side of the loom just a little bit. It doesn't take long. And it'll create uh, a nice little uh, indentation in the pattern. And so I've, I've been playing around a couple of, uh, you can see a couple of trials on here. It took a while. Michelle, to hold it up settings. close. Hold it up close, Monty. We can't see it. Ion, get in there. Laser yeah. bolts. And so you can see it's a color blue. Um, that blue is, is caused by the thickness of the oxide and the interference of light reflecting off of the titanium surface and the oxide surface. And so you can actually um, um, adjust the color based on the voltage. And so you can see right here, zoom up a little bit there, Ion. <gasps> right where my thumb is there. You can see uh, kind of uh, different colors there. And so that top one there is uh, about 10 volts, 20 volts, 30 volts, 40 volts, 50 volts. 6 volts, 7 volts or so. So if you just wow. bring up more 9 volts in series, you can adjust the color. Do you know why um, it's self-limiting? Does it eventually form an oxide where no more voltage can jump to the titanium rod? Yes, that's true. And you actually, well, if you watch the, uh, the current, um, as you apply it for a long period of time, you see that current decrease. And so you can actually time it too. Um, like like if, you, if you zoom in on this um, tip here, this is another example where I just dipped the titanium into uh, a little pool of uh, Coca-Cola in a metal can and pulled it out. And as I pulled it out, you know, some sections were left in longer than others. And so this, this is uh, turning yellow, blue, and more of a brownish. That's just the time it was left in the, in the, in the Coke. And uh, oops, over here on my computer, you can see I have a, a chart. This is from... Um, uh, there's a number of uh, uh, how-to articles on how to do this online. This is from uh, uh, wikihow.com, but uh, they have ah. titanium coloring index by DC voltage. So you can see if we get up to 100 volts or so, 110, 120 volts, we start getting into greens and some nice reds. That's a lot of 9 volts. Monty, so you not, just put not, those 9 uh, volts in series, right? You just snap them together and you can get up to 100 volts? Yeah, certainly. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monty, not everybody relates to titanium. Uh, they want to know, oh, does this only work with titanium? Um, but it, it, it appear, appears from the chart that, yeah, this is a titanium thing you're doing. Yeah, we were trying um, some other materials just to experiment, and we weren't getting um, any kind of reaction like with the titanium. Now, certainly they do this well, with aluminum as well, but it's a little bit more involved process. Well, let's put the shoe on the other foot then, Monty. What do we have lying around the house that's made of titanium that we might want to decorate this way? 
a bicycle, a tent peg. Bicycle, uh, golf clubs maybe. Um, glasses. Uh, tennis rackets, glasses maybe, yeah. Glasses. Okay, uh, maybe a knife. Uh, Jewelry. So, so I have a titanium spork that would be yeah, awesome to decorate that way. Yeah, titanium spork, wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hip replacements? Yeah, yeah, dip that titanium in Coca-Cola with a little bit of currant and see what you get. 